Dr. Ashton here now answering uh, this very important question. Uh, what should I drink for chest congestion? My suggestion is scotch usually. Oh boy. Is that not good? Well, you and my mom should get together because she was, is a big fan of the hot toddy and she's a retired right. registered nurse. Uh -huh. um, okay, but, but the so. medical <laughs> answer is generally an over-the-counter decongestant. If, you know, with something that has dextromethorphan in it, you can take your pick um, in any drugstore over-the-counter. However, mm -hmm. to my mother, who always believed that hot toddies or warm oatmeal loosened the chest, chest mm -hmm. congestion, there is an explanation for that, which is that it is warm, temperature of the esophagus, the stomach, right near your lungs, and actually can transmit some heat to loosen up that chest congestion. You just said the scotch works. You just said the hot toddy I said with something a little bourbon. warm works. Which is a um, hot toddy. Okay. With the, you the just other said thing, it works. The other thing which has uh, a lot of street cred and some medical explanation is we hear opera singers, professional singers say they avoid dairy because it can actually increase their uh, congestion a little bit. I think there's true. some truth to that. So. But also, when we talk about the hot toddies, but you, you need to hydrate. You don't need to dehydrate. That makes it that worse is as correct. well, right? Yep. Okay. All right. You have a prescription for wellness today. <laughs> I do. And it was inspired by my watching some baseball games last night. Uh, unfortunately, there were a couple of players hit with pitches, 93, 95 miles per hour, one in the head, one in the hand. Um, oh, you know, for the average person, so my prescription for sports injuries, that acronym RICE, which stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Uh, very, very important when you're talking about head injuries and possible risk of concussion. When in doubt, sit out. This is your a very important organ of your brain. You don't want to take a risk with that. And lastly, you really have to remember the velocity or mechanism of injury. If you get hit with something that is going 90 miles an hour, right. I don't care how you feel at that moment, the velocity, the physics of that injury would suggest that you probably sustained something uh, significant. So that matters. They've tried to put more emphasis on this in sports. You talk about the sit out. Most guys want to get right back into the game oftentimes. There has been a renewed emphasis. That's right. So. And I hate to hear, oh, look how tough. Yeah. This, that just does not do what we need to do in medicine. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. Folks, you, you can keep your questions coming to Dr. Ashton on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.